even today, we still rely on the tides of where we want to go, what direction we want to go. Again, if I want to go to Ireland further up, it's good for me to leave at low tide and go a certain area and move down with it, you know, go with the tide. So, again, I'll still use the tidal movements. The timing of the tide to get me to the places, you know. So, yeah, again, you're saving, you're being an economical, you're saving fuel. You want to rush against current, so, again, it's still using the same traditional knowledge that our people have been using. Yeah, so I use tide tables quite regularly, so whether we're going out um, on the vessels or doing maybe some sampling on the beach uh, sites, just to make sure that we can launch and retrieve the boats quite safely. And also if we are targeting certain species of fish, um, we want to make sure we have the tides right to, to get the fish that we're after, so yeah. Reading a tide chart. Tidal bar, 2014, broom. January, February, March. Each date has two columns. This column has time and 24 hour time. This column has tide height and meters. Ninth of March at zero two five four hours the tide height is seven point three two meters and at zero eight five four hours the height is three point six eight meters. Seven point three two meters is high tide, three point six eight meters is low tide. Uh, there was plenty of water where we were, but unfortunately when we got out of the creek there was, the ocean was gone. So we were stuck there for some eight to ten hours waiting for the tide to come in. Not the nicest spot to get caught, lots of mosquitoes, lots of sandfires, lots of swamp geckos, so it's scary those crocodiles up there. 